the Lewis structure of lithium sulfide, Li2S, is going to be an ionic structure because lithium is a metal. The staircase of metalloids or semi-metals is here. Anything to the left of it is a metal, except for hydrogen. But lithium's definitely a metal. It's one of the alkali metals. Sulfur is here in the non-metal zone. What that means is that the metal and non-metal combination will give us an ionic bond. The metals are going to give up electrons to the non-metal. It's how it always works. So lithium in group one means it brings one valence electron with it. There's the one dot. Sulfur in group 16 brings six valence electrons with it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've put north, east, south, and west, spread them out before I doubled them up. That's just so that I have all the unpairs that I'll actually need in the end. Again, in ionic compounds, metals will give their electrons away to nonmetals, and nonmetals want a full octet to be stable. Octet meaning eight electrons in its outer shell. You currently have six, so where are you going to get the extra two from? Well, this lithium atom can give its electron away, and that will give the sulfur atom seven electrons, but that's still not a full eight you're going to need a second lithium atom with its extra valence electron giving it away to sulfur. Now sulfur is going to have the full eight. So let's draw that. Here's sulfur with its full eight valence electrons. That's two more than it brought with it. So it has a minus two charge. This lithium has given away one electron, so I'm going to draw it here without that electron and give it a plus one charge because it lost one negatively charged electron. I'm gonna draw a second one because we needed a second lithium to give away its electron to complete that octet, and we have the complete Lewis structure for lithium sulfide. You'll notice that we have two lithium atoms and one sulfur. That's why the formula is Li2S. It's saying we, ha we need two lithiums to bond with the sulfur. Now, some teachers will allow you to do two times Li, so you don't have to write it out twice. You'll still have to draw the sulfur there for yourself. Find out which one your teacher wants to see and give it to them the way they want it. You know, that's our job as students, right? Best of luck.